Concerns about a slowdown in mail deliveries at the center of an escalating political debate. Eyewitness News reporter Veronica Miracle live now in South Los Angeles, where members of Congress today accuse President Trump of using the Postal Service for his own political ends. Veronica. Well, Mark, several members of Congress were here today, including Representative Maxine Waters, who says she has been getting calls from constituents about extreme delays. She says in Inglewood, some people haven't gotten mail in the last four to five days, and she says President Trump is to blame. Three representatives of the U.S. House expressing outrage as a slowdown in mail delivery is affecting people across the country. Representatives Maxine Waters, Nanette Berrigan, and Jimmy Gomez say all of their offices have been flooded with complaints from constituents who aren't receiving mail, medication, and items for their small businesses. This is not a Republican or Democratic issue. The mail issue affects everybody across the country. The House will vote on the Delivering for America Act this Saturday. It's a piece of legislation to retroactively repeal the operational changes implemented by USPS's newly appointed Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. It comes as DeJoy has been making what he calls cost-cutting measures, which is slashing overtime for mail carriers. They're also removing high-speed sorting machines, and many mailboxes across the country have been removed. I want this president and I want his lackey to get those blue boxes back in our neighborhood. Not only do those changes slow down delivery, it's creating a huge backlog, and it could be catastrophic for the November elections. The Postal Service already warning 46 states that ballots might not be delivered in time to be counted. The local union president in South L.A. says the removal of boxes is not a standard practice. They normally will move them to repair them and put them back. But at the scale that they're moving them now, it's not what we, I've seen in 27 years. This is the first time I've ever seen where stacks of them are being removed and they're not damaged. Representative Jimmy Gomez is actually vice chair of the Committee on Oversight and Reform for the House. That's the main investigative body for the House of Representatives. He says next Monday on the 24th, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy will be questioned by the House and they will be asking him who told him to remove sorting uh, machines as well as mailboxes and who told him to slow things down. Reporting live, Veronica Miracle, ABC7 